Hi, in this lesson we are talking menu planning and prepping made easy. I want you all planning and prepping like bosses because when you can plan your food ahead of time, when you can be prepared for your week, you're going to save time, you're going to save money, it means fewer less desirable calories, it means you're going to feed yourself and your family with more nutritious meals and it means less stress for you. I know that you're busy, busy, busy and the thought of having to plan your meals out and prep ahead of time might feel like just another chore that you need to do. And to be honest, that's what I used to think about it as well. And it took me a long time to really appreciate the power of meal planning and getting it done every week. When I plan my meals for the week ahead, my week just goes so much smoother. We eat so much better. I eat better and my family eats better. And I want that for you and your family. I know some of you out there already are already bosses in the kitchen. But I know that a lot of us, it's not really our forte. I don't know about you, but I missed the cooking lessons while I was pushing myself through university. Um, and I've never really loved cooking. So having kids and a family and being busy has really had to push me um, into the kitchen and to learn how to cook and learn how to plan and learn how to prepare ahead of time because it's my job to feed my family, right? Like I have to know this stuff. You guys have to know this stuff. Like I want you to, to eat better. I want you to nourish your body and that comes from, from being prepared at home, okay? Um, I mean, it's quality control, right? When you can choose the ingredients at the grocery store, you can have healthy meals that you know are going to feed your family. You have more control over the quality of the food you eat. Uh, I know that when I'm not prepared, we end up going for pizza, <laughs> and, which is fine once in a while, but not all the time. And that's what happens if I'm not prepped, if my kitchen doesn't have food in it, and if we're on the go when we got soccer and swimming and um, all this other stuff, like if I don't have food ready... And it's often up to us. Um, we eat less desirable food than I would like, and then we're not, I'm not able to nourish my body or my family's body, and that's really an important thing for me. So um, we are going to talk about this week, and I know that it can be stressful. I know it can feel like a lot of work, but here's the thing. You have to eat food, right? When you can take action, this is not hard but it does take some practice. It does take some work to get create some routines and some habits for yourself so that you can, you can be confident in your kitchen. You can be confident, but it doesn't mean that you have to be a chef. You don't have to be a gourmet cook. You just have to have like five or six recipes that you know how to make and you have to know how to stock your kitchen with, with good foods, right? So I've given you the superfoods guide in previous lessons. It's also in the power vault, the power recipe vault. And I've given you the kitchen clean out. So those are two things to go back to now if you haven't yet. Clean your kitchen out of the junk and fill it up with the foods that are on the superfoods list. They're nothing crazy. They're eggs and broccoli and, and kale and all the things that you need to prepare healthy meals at home, whether they're ahead of time or on the fly. If you've got your, your, your kitchen stocked with these necessities, you're always going to be able to pull out something um, and again, just have five or six recipes that you make all the time. Don't overcomplicate it. Um, so one great tip is when you're starting to think ahead to plan is to accumulate those recipes that you like, okay? And know how, like what works best for you. Do you like a cookbook or do you like Pinterest or do you like the recipe guide that I've given you? Or do you want someone to send you a menu plan every week? Because we all like something different. What's going to work for me is not going to work for you. But you need to think about how your brain works and how you're going to be able to organize yourself. That's going to make the difference for you. Um, for me, I like just having the recipe guide. I like my Pinterest board. I, you know, I know I've got some recipes that I like bookmarked. I, I know those recipes. I know where to find them when I need them if I don't have them memorized already. And like I said, I have five or six go-tos that I use all the time. And I only make, um, I only prep ahead three or four meals a week. I don't make seven meals on Sunday. I make a few. I make a big pot of soup. I grab a rotisserie chicken because I know I can make a lot of stuff out of that chicken. And I make a bowl of chili that's full of vegetables and beans that I know everybody's going to like and eat. It's going to be full of nutrition. So you got to find what works for you. 
pick, if you're just getting started, pick one or two things and just make that. The next thing is trying to create a habit on what day you're gonna do it on. For me, I take Saturdays off. I try not to do anything. If we're gonna eat out, it's gonna be Saturday because I don't wanna cook. And then Sundays is my day to prep and plan. So I think about what we ate last week so I don't make it again this week. And then I decide what I'm gonna make this week and I make my, I get my grocery list out and what I need to get. And then the whole family goes grocery shopping together. And it's our Sunday ritual. We grocery shop, we come home, and we, plop, we prep and we cook foods so that we're ready for the week. I think breakfast, we always have eggs. So I always have eggs in the fridge so I don't have to think about it or run out. Um, we often have it with kale or with some sautéed veggies, but it's always eggs. The kids like to have bacon sometimes. We've always got toast or avocado. So breakfast is really simple. I know what to stock my, what to stock my fridge with. So I want you to think the same. And because breakfast is a power meal for us, right? Like we got to be having a good breakfast, whether that's a smoothie. If it's a smoothie, make sure you got your smoothie ingredients ready to go, ready to feed yourself. And, um, and then I just make a few batches on Sunday night. That's it. And then I reassess on Wednesday. What have we got left? What do I need to get us through till Saturday? Because Saturday's free day and we're going to finish up the leftovers and probably go out for dinner. But that's how my week rolls and it's a habit. Sunday is planning, prepping, cooking, gets me through till Wednesday, Wednesday reassess, Saturday's free day where we go out and then Sunday again. And it is the grind, right? Like that's why we are training to be high. We have to train to be high performance athletes in running and in life because we don't get breaks from this stuff, you guys. Like the food needs to keep rolling and it's not about about perfection, it's about progress. So keep that in mind, not every week is gonna go awesome, but when you can take some time and build this into your habits, um, you're going to find that you eat way better and then you feel way better, okay? Um, in the guide, there's a lot of other ideas in here, but I'm just gonna keep it really simple here. You can read through this. I mean, this stuff isn't rocket science. It really is about creating habits, thinking about it, and then taking action. Thinking, you know, some bonus tips that I have in here is starting to think about cooking once and eating twice. I will never cook a different lunch every day and a different dinner every day. Like, that is not going to happen in my house. We cook once and we eat twice or three times. We like to cook in big batches and I'll freeze those batches so I can pull them out later. I'll put them into jars and seal them so that they'll stay a little bit longer. But generally, I cook once and we eat more than that. Keeping your pantry stocked with superfoods and basic necessities is really key so that you know what you've got in your cupboard. And if you do need to make things quick, it's really easy to grab and go. Um, chopping vegetables, I find, is really helpful ahead of time because I hate chopping vegetables at the last minute. I find we don't eat them, but if they're cut up, we'll eat them. And I often make a big, every couple of weeks, I'll make a big thing of hummus to go with it because I love my veggies to go with hummus, right? You want to be eating your carbohydrate, your fat, and your protein all together for more sustenance to keep those blood sugars level, which we talked about. Um, I love cooking big batches of, of chicken breast. Chicken is one of the, you know, the best proteins that my family eats. So I like to have it stocked up and I either cook up a bunch of chicken breasts and keep them in the fridge for quick access and really easy to, to make dinners. Or I grab a pre-cooked rotisserie chicken, which we love from the grocery store. And it's, it's easy to, it's pre-made. I, I make soup out of it. I make quesadillas. We have a whole meal if I just have to make up some quick potatoes and, and steam up some beans. Like really easy stuff, you guys. So don't, don't overthink it. Don't make it stressful. I want you just this week to take a look at your calendar. See what nights you need to make meals for. Decide um, what you're going to make. Get to the grocery store. Get cooking. Get, get preparing that food and stocking yourself up and let me know how it goes. I want you guys starting to plan and prepare your food like a boss. You know the macro concepts of, of good nutrition to balance blood sugars and help you rev metabolism and shed fat. You know the strategies of using food as fuel and now we need to stock the cupboard to make that happen, okay? We need to take consistent action on those food concepts, those nutritional strategies, because it's not difficult, but it's just taking action. And that's what we're here for, to help you take action to nourish your body, nourish your running from the inside out. I hope that this was helpful. I hope this is a good reminder for you um, about how to eat and why it's super important and how 
creating more structure, more planning, more organization to your weeks and being conscious of that is actually going to help you save time, save money, create less stress in your life and take you from a hot mess mama to a really confident running success mama, okay? Um, head over to the Facebook. Let me know if you have questions and I'd love to see how your meal planning is going. Have an awesome day.